Uh, we're on chapter three now mm-hmm. called uh, the foundation of foundational faith. And uh, he talks about uh, how in previous chapters we looked at the concept of faith. Christian faith we saw is not some kind of mindless leap, some some blind leaping faith that we're always doing. We're just jumping around. We're <laughs> jumping Jack Flash. An emotional experience or delusional commitment contrary to good reason, contrary to facts, or contra- contrary to logic. And so we said that we need to understand that the definition of faith of, of the Greek word pistis is, is, is trust. And it's used consistently throughout scripture, uh, through, uh, through the secular Greeks. Uh, it's, it's what we've come to know today when we say we have confidence in, in something, confide with faith. Um, uh, and it's only uh, th- that uh, a kind of the religious connotation uh, because we live in a Christian Western world that, uh, that we've kind to, 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 come up uh, with faith as, as uh, being simpatico with, with uh, only Christianity or only religion in general. Mm-hmm. And so um, we, we have to kind of get back to the roots and, and uh, uh, ad fontes, go, go back and um, um, establish what we mean by faith so that we can properly explain what we're talking about and show that everyone has confide with faith in, in um the basics of their assumptions. And their basic assumptions, right. Right. Yeah. So, so as Christians, we don't turn off our brains when we start exercising our religious commitments or when we witness to people. We don't live in two worlds, the, the world of reason when we go to our school or work and the world of faith when we become religious on Sundays. In fact, that's what people accuse a lot of Christians of being, as being hypocritical as uh, you're good on Sundays and then uh, you know, your uh, your your daily driver of living uh, uh, antithetically to that is uh, Monday through Saturday, and you need you need church to to, to, to clean that yeah, all to, up, to, yeah. To, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to cleanse, to cleanse. <laughs> but faith is not contrary to reason, and right. so uh, right. and so when we come up to things, we don't set aside Christianity, we don't set aside the Bible. Uh, why? Because the Bible says that Jesus is Lord of all. And we want to believe that. And we want to be honest with people and say, that's what we believe in all things. Right. When it comes to raising our children, we believe that Jesus is Lord of all. When it comes to uh, how one should uh, make war with somebody, Jesus is Lord of all. When it comes to being fair and having even scales, Jesus is Lord of all. And mm-hmm. so those things inform and should inform how we do it. If not, we are being hypocritical, which the Bible has a slew of things to say. And when we rely on that, we're saying Jesus is Lord of all of that as well. 